Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. I wanted to share a paper that was just published days ago in the Journal of Internal Medicine, which involved 68,273 men and women and found that after 16 years, adherence to a highly anti-inflammatory diet can reduce mortality from all-cause cardiovascular disease and cancer while prolonging survival, especially among smokers. Now, I am clearly not suggesting that you should continue a shitty smoking habit so long as you adhere to a healthful diet. Combating a thing while at the same time engaging in activities that will cause that very thing is basically pissing in the wind. The risks from smoking are many and well established, including, but not limited to, the increased risks of death from heart disease, stroke, and lung cancer. It is my opinion that smoking is a sign of weakness and is just plain stupid on numerous levels given what we understand about it. I mean, look at it this way. You're paying someone else, and handsomely I might add, to shorten your lifespan all while reducing your quality of life in the process. Not to mention how utterly torturous death from smoking can be on both you and those who love you who will be forced to watch you suffer until your final gasp of air. You're basically paying an assassin to kill you slowly and painfully and in front of your loved ones, which not only makes you self-destructive, but also a masochist and a world-class asshole. So if you smoke, I urge you to stop immediately. But now I've wandered a bit off topic. I created this video not to discuss the drawbacks of smoking, but rather as a vehicle to open dialogue about foods uh, that render a diet inflammatory or anti-inflammatory, as some folks may generally uh, be unsure. As cited by Harvard University, it appears that a vegan or pescatarian diet, free from refined carbohydrates, fried foods, sodas, and margarine, but rich in vegetables, nuts, and fruits, are the best options to fight inflammation. Whereas any diet that includes red or processed meats, such as burgers, steaks, hot dogs, and sausages, causes inflammation. It is also worth noting that coffee, red wine, and chocolate are also anti-inflammatory. Now, before anyone accuses me of promoting pescatarianism, uh, which is a diet that includes fish or other seafood, but not other meats, uh, let's get this straight. I don't. I was merely citing that Harvard lists fatty fish, uh, like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and sardines, uh, as anti-inflammatory foods. I don't personally prescribe the consumption of fish uh, for more than one reason. For one, because fish are sentient beings like you or I, which are capable of feeling emotions and pain. And there are dietary alternatives so you don't require fish to survive or thrive. But also keep in mind, the Environmental Protection Agency warns that seafood, such as fish, is potentially high in five specific chemical contaminants, mercury, PCBs, chloridane, dioxins, and DDT. All of which bioaccumulate in the tissues of living beings, be that fish or even you. Uh, in other words, they absorb into the body at a rate faster than they can be broken down and excreted. And for those of you who take their hormone health seriously, such as the athletes in my audience, be advised that PCBs and DDT are known endocrine disruptors. So, save the lives of fish and yourself and choose veganism as the anti-inflammatory diet of choice in reducing mortality from all cause, cardiovascular disease, and cancer while prolonging your survival but you'd also do well to avoid refined carbohydrates, fried foods, sodas, and margarine at the same time. Remember my previous pissing in the wind analogy? That applies here too. Uh, you can most certainly be an unhealthy vegan. Anyway, stir up discussion in the comments below and give this video a like to ensure that others can find it easier. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to press that bell button for notifications and to check back weekly, typically by Friday mornings. 
All three avenues will help ensure that you don't miss any new content from me. Also, check out my science-based training and nutrition ebooks and experience results like these for yourself. And there is a product for everyone and every lifting goal. I also just released a program for the ladies called The Upgraded Woman, which was designed to get you fit, strong, and shapely in all the right areas. So, ladies, definitely go and check it out. Or guys, get it for your significant other. You'll benefit too, if you know what I mean. You will find all of my ebooks and more linked in the description below. A lot of time has gone into putting each of these together, so by purchasing any or all of them, you're showing your support to me and this channel, and you're getting something that I feel is genuinely useful in return. I want to thank you all for your continued support. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.